For the past week, I've been doing nothing but fishing, sleeping, and resting. This was the last day of my holiday, and it occurred to me that a vacation can be fun if it ends at the right time. Not too late, not too soon. As I mulled over that idea, I got another one. I thought about Cyrilla, a pretty dull name, but certainly not a dull girl. I remember today was Thursday, that I had a date with her at exactly 7 o'clock tonight. That meant between now and tonight at 7, I had to drive 150 miles. It was almost 1.30. By averaging 35 miles an hour, I figured to get back to the city in a little more than four hours. That would leave plenty of time for me to change my clothes and make arrangements for an enjoyable evening. I remembered Cyrilla asking why I was going to fish and rest for a week. She looked surprised when I told her it was because I wanted to regain my youth. It might have been someone enjoying target practice, but I had the feeling the shots came from inside the house. If I was right, that meant trouble for whomever might be the target. Michael Lanyard. It's not my business, but I heard those shots. Is everything all right? Yes. Everything's all right now. She's upstairs. She's dead. I killed her. Who is she? Mrs. Richmond. She was dead. No. I'll call a doctor. No. Don't call. Put the phone down. Can't you see you can save her? You've got another chance. I don't want another chance. I want her dead. the chair? You will if she dies. I don't care. It doesn't matter. You're just gonna stand here and watch her bleed to death. Is that what you want? You shouldn't have come here. I don't know what you're talking about. At least let me get some bandages. No. What do you mean, no? Stop being a fool. Put the gun down. I'm not being a fool. by that window. Richmond was serious. I felt that he didn't want to shoot me, but I wasn't positive he wouldn't. I would have grabbed him if there had been a decent chance. But I knew that if I missed, I could do his wife no good. I had to wait for Richmond to make a mistake or turn his back. Then if I was lucky and his wife wasn't dead, I could help. It was one big if. Okay. Now what? We'll wait till six o'clock, that's all. You must be crazy. No, 
I'm not. I'm unhappy, terribly unhappy. Are you married? No. Then you wouldn't understand. I loved her. And all the time I thought it was perfect. But it wasn't. I always thought I was a good husband. Not giving her everything because I was supposed to, but because I wanted to. But it was all one-sided. But I knew, deep down inside, that if she ever did anything wrong, I'd kill her. What? What did she do? You wouldn't understand. You don't know the feeling to come home happy. Looking forward to seeing someone you love. If you love her so much, let me call the doctor. No. I thought she wasn't home because the station wagon was gone. But that didn't matter. She wasn't expecting me. And we had friends she liked to visit down by the lake. I told her I wasn't coming up until the weekend. So I got some business cleared up and decided to take off. I wanted to surprise her. Then what? That's when I found out. I guess I was the one in for a surprise. So I decided to kill her. Richmond began to explain how it all happened. And I let him talk. Honey, don't ever do that to me again. You scared me. I feel my heart is beating like mad. Sorry I frightened you. You did. But you're forgiven now. I didn't think you were home. The station wagon was gone. Oh, I lent it to a friend. Oh. What a wonderful surprise. I did miss you so. I know what we'll do. Celebration. We'll go down to the village for supper and then take in the movie. It's a good one. I was saving it for Kay. the weekend. Who are you talking to on the phone? On the phone? Well, nobody. Oh, you mean just now? What? It was the wrong number. Uh oh. I was very bad today. I stayed in bed until one o'clock. I guess I'm still not used to this mountain air. How is everything in town? I thought you had an important appointment. Did anything go wrong? Okay. It wasn't a pretty story. When Richmond heard his wife's telephone conversation, his whole life crumbled. 
I knew there would be more violence unless I could snap him out of his desire for revenge. He was waiting for a man named Martin to keep a date with a dying woman. Time went by slowly. Richmond's wife hadn't moved for over an hour. She was still alive. He wanted her to die, but he didn't want her to suffer. I thought about the gun, the shots I'd heard. I wondered how many there'd been. Four, five, maybe six. Was he the kind of man who could kill me in cold blood? Or did he need the emotional shock he'd felt when he shot his wife? That brought me back to the bullets again. How many were left? One? Two? If I could only get close to him, I might get a chance. Have you got another cigarette? Huh? Sure. Fight it for me. tray over there and go back by the window. She's dying. What did you expect? How many times did you shoot her? I don't know. I didn't count. I shot her, that's all. I know. I want some water. So hard. I love you, Kay. I thought you were happy with me. But you cheated. How long? Martin, darling, Martin. How many others? Hurry home, darling. I miss you. This is my home. Didn't you ever miss me? Why did you let me think that you loved me? Why did you marry me? Please, stop hurting, please. Think you've done enough now? Don't cause me any more trouble. I'll finish everything when he comes. Then I don't care what happens. Sit down over there. I felt mentally sick, and more foolish than heroic, but mostly sick. <sighs> then we heard the car coming up the mountain, and I knew I couldn't prevent what was about to happen. Richmond had given me a chance, but I'd lost. I knew that Martin was a dead man. Move over there. Turn around. Hey, Mr. Richmond! Oh, 
Hello. They say there's a car down here blocking the road. Have you seen the owner? No, I haven't. Oh, I... So maybe he was in trouble. Do you mind if I come in and use your phone? Well, uh... Yes, all right. I won't come down if you don't mind. The front door is open. Thanks. Don't make a sound. What happens if your wife makes a sound? You're in trouble, Mr. Richmond. You should never let him come in. Be quiet. Give me that gun and get a doctor for her. Well? Stop it. I can't breathe. I can't. Mr. Richmond, something wrong? Get over by that door. Come up, Mr. Town. Are you all right? Uh, yeah, sure. My name's Lanyard. You know our friend with the gun. Did he tell you what he was waiting for? No. There's a man named Martin coming up here at six. He's gonna kill him. He what? That's correct. Mr. Richmond, I'm telling you again for your own good. Your wife's still alive. And maybe we can... It's too late to save her. You're wasting your time. You're wrong, Mr. Richmond. It's not too late. Stop it. Stop talking. Maybe it was the pain in my head that made me feel what I did. Pity for them both. The dying woman and the man who had shot her. I tried to think of some way to reach him. Maybe to jolt him out of what he was planning to do. Take a look at her. You're enjoying it. The longer she lives and suffers, the happier you're going to be. That's not true. I love her, I told you, and all I ever wanted was to have her love me. That's all. That's all I ever wanted, to have somebody care, to care a little. Why are you going to kill Martin? Do you really know? You know why. Yeah. Pride. No, not pride. He ruined my life. He ruined hers. Well, you finished hers. Don't blame that on him. I don't want to talk about it. Of course you don't. If you start talking about it, you'll have to think. That would hurt, wouldn't it? I told you. It's not nice to think about, is it? Your wife finds someone more attractive than you. But it's easier to blame somebody else. Why don't you ask yourself why she found another man? You know everything, don't you? To kill, that's one thing. But what you're doing... Take a look at her. That's your wife. Take a good look. Arnold. What? I'm sorry. Kay. 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 Dead. That can't be any surprise. Are you satisfied? Give me the gun, Mr. Richmond. Give me the gun. No. I'm not finished yet. Can't do any good now. It'll do me good. I want to see his face when he sees her. Then I'll kill him. 
No, wait. If either of you try to stop me, I'll kill you. I don't want to, don't you understand? I'm doing this for her now. You're wrong. After I finish with him, I'll give myself up, I swear. He'll see your car outside. He'll know you're home. See her again, you dirty. Sh She's dead. He's had a bad heart condition for a long time. Give me a hand with him. Phone the police. They'll be right out. No? Good. How do you feel, Martin? Do you like the results of your handiwork? It wasn't my fault. Too bad there's not a law for men like you. You're just no good. You have no right to say that about me. No. She was in love with me. And her husband was in love with her. That's why they're both dead. <laughs> 